Hey folks, uh, just a very quick video to say thank you for all the uh, com suggestions actually, comments, uh, suggestions via comments in regards to the upcoming EVO Enduro, which is happening from the 1st to 5th of August uh, 2019. So check out evomalaysia.com's website and uh, click on the EVO Enduro. I'll, I'll leave the link in the comments down, uh, sorry, in the description down here. Uh, so that you can go immediately and see if your car qualifies or if this is a drive that you might be interested to uh, attend. I was just at a Honda Malaysia hot open house uh, for Raya. Thank you very much Honda Malaysia um, for doing this. Again, no car to be launched, nothing. It's just a gathering to say hello to the media who have been supportive of them and uh, they have been supportive of us as well. So thank you very much, you know, giving us test cars to review, uh, inviting us for events and drives. So thank you very much. Um, and of course, um, the, the Evo Horizon team, all of us were there and uh, we were talking to uh, other media in regards to Evo Enduro and, and by and large, it's, it's very well accepted and very well um, received in so far as a, a real drive is concerned because, you know, we all love Sunday drives and, you know, I wouldn't have it any other way, Saturday drives, Sunday drives, weekend drives, whatever you want to call them. Uh, we all do this, but there's nothing quite like a very long, long distance drive. And uh, if you've ever been on one, uh, Evo Enduro 2017 was also to Phuket, but that wasn't, we did that in one stretch. That was like a one day KL to Phuket, which was, it averaged out to about 18 hours on the road, which was pretty crazy. So for this year's Evo Enduro, we're gonna tone things down just a little bit. The first night will be in Satun which is over the border, somewhere near Hat Yai. But uh, if you think of Hat Yai here, Satun is here next to the uh, <clears throat> next to the sea. So it's a bit more relaxed. And uh, I'm currently driving my uh, 280SE W126 and it's a strong contender for, for Evo Enduro. I mean, there's no getting around the fact that this car really, really excels on the highway. It was built to chew up long distances on the uh, in Germany and on the Autobahn and things like that. So as far as um, long distance driving is concerned, once it gets on the highway, the Lazy 6, as I, I like to call it, the Lazy 6 uh, cylinder engine, just putters along and I do recall it being very frugal uh, in terms of fuel once you're on the highway. I mean, it's, it's just stop-start traffic in traffic jams, that's where the uh, really kills the fuel consumption. But this car was really, really good as far as uh, a highway drive was concerned. Now. The thing is, Evo Enduro is mostly highway, okay? The, the longest stretch of highway is actually going to be from uh, from the capital to Bukit Kayu Hitam or Padang Besar or maybe even Wang Kalian, wherever, wherever we're going to cross over to, to Thailand. That's going to be the longest stretch of uh, pretty much highway. After that, in Thailand, it's a mixture of highway and B roads. So, again, now, unfortunately, due to the um, hmm, exchange rate being not very favorable, and I'm putting that very mildly and as politically correct as I can. Fuel in Thailand is going to be very expensive. The last I heard, it's almost like six ringgit per liter after you convert. So that's a lot of money. Now this car is a 2.8 six cylinder, whereas the E30 is a 1.8 four cylinder. So it's two cylinders less, a thousand cc less. It's going to save a lot on fuel. Plus it's a manual transmission. This is an auto. And as everybody knows, you can actually save a lot more fuel um, with a manual transmission. Again, it's all relative. It's how, how you drive that manual transmission. I mean, if you're gonna absolutely hoon it all the time, it's it's not gonna be very frugal. <laughs> but uh, the way I'm gonna drive, because remember in an, in an endurance drive, the key is smoothness and not to trash the car because the last thing you want is a breakdown. And the, the last, last thing you want is a breakdown in another country because um, for one thing, while these cars are very basic and very easy to fix, I mean, the, there's zero computerization, minimal electronics. So cars like this, like the 126 and the E30 are, are relatively easy to fix if something happens when you're over in another country like Thailand. Uh, however, there is always that language barrier, you know. You might tell them, okay, I have a blown gasket. Can you just please remove the cylinder head, change the gasket, make it better? and. Uh, I'll be on my way and the next thing you know you've got a brand new engine <laughs> okay that's an exaggeration of course but you know what I mean if you're trying to tell them you know one thing they might they might decipher something else and the next thing you know um, you don't have enough funds to actually pay them then they're gonna hold your car and maybe hold you for ransom and uh, anyway so yeah worst case scenario so that's why I'm actually gonna drive this car um, for a shakedown drive I'm gonna drive both cars the E30 as well for a shakedown drive, a long distance drive before Evo Enduro. 
to suss out any niggles or any problems or any glitches or gremlins that might be hiding you know in the back in the shadows just waiting to pounce the moment you get into Thailand that's the last thing you want it, it's it's all about Murphy's law as well if something bad is gonna happen it will happen and at the worst time possible so I'm gonna try and kill Murphy's law once and for all I'm gonna try and make sure the cars are both both um, in very uh, very good condition and up to the drive but that's the thing I've always demanded of any car that I own and as you know I've been in I've been into old car, old school cars since uh, 1998 and uh, I've owned many old school cars and all of them I demand that I must be able to jump into them at any time and drive a thousand kilometers with no problem so they have to be in tip-top condition otherwise no I just and that's why I can't own so many cars because each one must be in tip-top condition. So, that said, it's back to the question of which car I'm going to use for Evo Enduro. Honestly, it's I know it's only about maybe just a little over a month away, but I have no idea. I really have. There are pros and cons to both, okay? The, uh, the E30 might be good on gas, but it's not an Autobahn cruiser. It was never built to be an Autobahn cruiser. It was never built to be a long-distance car. You know, this was, uh, but that wasn't. However, that one's better on fuel and uh, it's lighter. And since I'm, I'm driving alone, I don't need that much space. This one, I've got space for, you know, three other adults and their luggage. But uh, that one, I've only, I've only got space for myself and that's fine, you know, because it's just me, myself and I. So, mm, the debate continues and uh, I'm still undecided. Like I said in the previous video, maybe what, what I'm going to do on that morning itself of the departure, I'm going to have all my luggage at my feet then I'm going to flip a coin, you know, heads 126, tails uh, E30. So, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. I'll, I'll get back to you uh, once I've decided, but I haven't, I haven't really decided. And so if you want to still keep voting on, should it be the E30? Should it be the W126? And remember, take into consideration all the things I've just said, okay, about fuel, about space, about cruising about um, not cruising <laughs> there are so many pros and cons so yeah if you want to you want to um, give me a shout out down in the comments and let me know which one and why I should take please by all means do because I am sorely undecided anyway till the next time just want to say thank you again for for watching and uh, we'll see how it goes this guy's driving beautifully actually I'm really really happy with the way it's going so you know it might be an aircon is nice and cool I've got the tint going um, very nice tint. You can't see it, but it's... Um, oh, go check out my other videos if you want to know what I mean. But yeah, so... Yeah, there we go. Let me know. Okay, I'll talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.